Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Loon necklace to go with the bracelet and the earrings that we made. And I have videos for these two if you haven't seen them and I'll link those down below. So we have one here that's a little more dressy. It's using that triangular tubular herringbone stitch that is so much fun. So here this little more dressy with silver beads, white pearls, and I've got these onyx spirulette drops. So this I plan to wear with a little um, black tank dress that I'm going to go out to dinner with my hubby and I think that'll be really pretty and this one is really simple I've got these turquoise beads with some um, gold pearls and these cool little twisted beads that I used as drops and I think it's so cute and I think these came into one in one of the collections um, Eureka Crystal Beads collection so you might even have these so speaking of collections how do you like that little segue uh, stay tuned um, on July 7th I'll pre be presenting to you Eureka Crystal Beads newest collection that's in collaboration with me bronze pony beaded jewelry so I'm so excited to share that with you so I just can't wait so um, Mark your calendars and then meet me here at noon on July 7th. Okay, so we're going to get started with this necklace. Okay, let's get the materials that's going. So you're going to need some 8 OC beads, some 11 OC beads, some 8 millimeter pearls. I've got a 4 millimeter pearl or druck, and I've got a drop or any kind of bead that you can use as a drop. So I'm going to use this one. I've got a stop bead. And I've got some dragon thread, and I really recommend that you use dragon thread for this because it's really, really um, supple and thin, and it goes through the beads easily. You, these little components are, they're so, you go through them so many times that you need a really, really thin thread with something strong, and dragon thread is so good for this. You can use 8 pound fire line, but use a 12 size 12 beading needle, I really think you should go to four pound. Just want to make it easy for you. So, I mean, if you have this or, you know, just give it a try. It's really, really good thread. And I'm using Wildfire as well. So I'm using Wildfire, let me just show you real quick, on just on this part to connect this part. But you don't have to. You can use the Dragon Thread for that as well. Um, you'll need a clasp. I'm using a two strand box clasp. I don't have another one, but I do have, a, so it's going to be just like this one. Um, and a size, I have a, um, 10, 11, and a 12 beading needle. And I think you're gonna mostly use a 12 beading needle here, um, and or 11, or probably a combo of the both, um, because as I said, it's very, you know, there's a lot of thread going through these little units. All right, so that's everything. So I'm gonna clear this off and we'll get started. So don't forget to look in the description box below the video. Um, all the colors, everything, amounts, beads, shapes, everything you need will be there as well for the, for the silver one as well. So. Um, check down below. Also, check for any coupon codes I have. I, I have coupon codes. Sometimes I have discounts. Sometimes sometimes I forget things and I put it down there. So lots of information down there. So click that down arrow on the show more, you know. All right, so I'm going to cut this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about four feet of thread. Put on a stop bead and leave a six or seven inch tail. So I've picked up four 11 0 seed beads and I'm going to drop those down to my stop bead. Just like that. And I'm going to sew up through the first two after my stop bead. That gives me a couple of stacks of two 11 O's. A little hard to hold at this moment. So exiting here, I'm just gonna sew down through the two I put on. Like that. I'm gonna pick up two of my 8 OC beads. Exiting here, I'm going to sew down so these two, so the two that I'm exiting from, and then back up through the 8 O's. This one I have. And I'm just going to sew through these two, so I'm reinforcing back to the beginning, and these two. Don't worry about these if they pop apart because they'll go together in the end. And this is exactly what you should have. Okay, now we're going to make this into a little triangular unit. So I'm just going to, so I'm exiting here, I'm going to sew through these two, so the 8 O's. So through these two 11 O's, is where I started from, through those two 8 O's, and then back up through these two 11 O's. And that's going to give me this little triangular unit. Isn't that cute? 
All right, so let's move on. Let's continue. So we have our little triangle, little unit here, and we're exiting this 11 -0 here. I'm going to pick up two 11 -0, so we do some herringbone. I'm going to go down two, so down these two. I kind of pop them over, and then I'm going to move my, rotate my piece a little bit this way, so that my eight O's are on the right, and then up two. So went down two 11 O's, up the two eight O's. So this is what I have, and we'll do it a few times. So I'm going to pick up an eight O. So you see my eight O's are on the right. I'm just going to go down one. So I'm going to go down this one 11 O. Let it pop over onto the others. I kind of pull my thread over sometimes. And then back up that very same bead I put on. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to rotate my piece so my eight O's are on the left side. And then I'm just going to sew down the three 11 O's right here. And then up these three 11 O's. And now I'm back where I started and I can add some more units on. Let's add some, some more um, herringbone on. Uh, and we'll do it a few times so that it becomes easier. And it, as it gets bigger, it's easier for me to hold. So picking up two of my 11 O's, I'm exiting here. I'm going to go down two. I'm going to rotate my piece so my eight O's are on the right and then up those two eight O's. So down two, up two, like that. I'm going to pick up an eight O. I'm gonna go down one, so the down that 11 O. Make sure it pops over, I pull my thread over, and then up that very same bead I just put on. Just put your thumb on it to hold it. I'm gonna pull, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna rotate my piece so my eight O's are on the left. I'm going to go down three, just three. There you go. And up three. Like that. Now I'm back where I started from again. So you see how it's growing and it's starting, it'll start, it's starting to curve already. So let's do it one more time. Pick up two, 11 O's, down two. And pop over, or tape your piece a little bit so you can get to those eight O's, and then up two. So down two, up two. Pick up an eight O, down one, so down the 11 O. Let that eight O pop over on the others. And then right back up the one you just put on, like that. Rotate your piece so that the eight O's are on the left. Down three. And then up three. So, and that's just going to put us right back again where we started from. Make sure your thread goes in between your beads there. And then you're going to just keep doing that until you get a nice curve going. And it will automatically curve. This is not cool. And do that until you have 20 beads. So count your radios until you have 20 on. That seems to fit the 8 millimeter pearl pretty well. And then come back and we'll sew the unit together. Okay, so I have my 20 units on, and just a couple of notes. One, when I put my pearl in, I want my pearl to be flat, sort of flat against the beads on one side and popped up on the other. So 20 beads around this unit works well for me. If I wanted to, to cut right in the middle, I probably would need um, 22. Or if, my, if, I'm, if I'm using Toho, which are much wider than these check beads, you know, the number might be different. I say just make an even number so that you can 
easily attach without having to do so much counting. If it's even, it's going to be so much easier. So 20 works for me. I think 20 worked for um, Toho as well, actually, um, and Miyuki. So it should be okay. But your pearl will pop up. So we're going to sew this together. I've put a needle on my tail thread and I just put it over to the side. I'm going to use that as well. So here I'm exiting, you know, one of the, the green bead. I'm just going to just sew over to the other side, maybe through, let's do three, like that. And there are, I guess, any number of ways you can sew these together, but I find this works pretty well. And then back up through. I'm just going to move that tail thread out of the way. I'm going to go through these three. So I've gone from the green to the the 11 to the 8 I'm going to continue down through these three. I mean, if you do four, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to put it together. And then back through these guys, like that. And I'm going to continue through several beads at this point. And that kind of puts, pull, pulls it together. And then I'm going to turn it over. And I have my, my tail thread just sort of coming right through from the other side. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go in this direction. Maybe three. And then back through these three. You know, popping over to the top. That pulls that together. Then of course you want to go through some of the beads on this side and then reversing and going through the 11 O's on this side until you lay them. So I'm kind of trying to crisscross um, so that, you know, they're, you know, it's nice and tight. Now, I'm going to take the, the thread I'm using right now. I'm going to continue down a little bit. I'm going through several beads. It doesn't really, I don't think, matter how many. But I want to get, um, I want to get a little knot in here. So, and we're going to use the other thread in a minute. So I'm just going to pop up to these guys, pulling. So I have my circle, and then I'm just going to do a half hitch knot right here. And I'm just going to move this thread down again, a few beads. All right, so I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'll cut that off in a minute. So now I'm back at my original thread, and I'm coming out of an 11 0 I'm going to pick up my pearl, and pop it in. And remember, it's going to really sit on top here. Just want to make sure which way I'm coming. So my thread is coming. Where's my thread coming out of? It's coming out of this side of my 11 -0. So I'm going to pop that in and it's going to, I'm going to pop it a little bit. It's going to push the beads apart slightly, but that's okay. I'm just going, I'm exiting the pearl. I'm going to sew through a bead on the other side, an 11 -0, and it's a little tight in here right now. So you might have to use your um, size 12 and it's not even as tight as it's just an odd angle. So you just want to get it through there. So I just pushed my beads up a little bit, giving it a little pull down. Then I'm going to go right back up the pearl. So that's going to sew it to that end. And then you want to go, I hope I'm coming out of the right one. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Then you want to go back through this one. So you surround, you know, you're using that one bead to to attach the pearl. And that's, again, I should have my twice 12 beading needle here. Okay, like that. And I'm giving it a pull. And then you want to just move your thread down a little bit and see how I've opened up a little bit here. So I'm just going to sew, continue to sew around. And then I'm going to give that a, pull, a nice tight pull. Oh, that looks good. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to keep going on. You can either, you can go like reverse direction or continue this way. And I'm going to put a couple of knots in and pull it together. And here, 
that's what it looks like. It's going to be a lot easier for you because you're not <laughs> trying to film it, but you see how it's almost flat on that side and it's domed on this side. So this is what it looks like. All right, so you're going to do that. You're going to make all your units. Um, so depends on how many, you know, your how many units you want in your necklace. I think I did 14 units for my, uh, my necklace turned out to about 17 and a half inches. It could have been a little longer. So I would say go maybe 15 units if you're doing the, you know, for whatever you're doing. So, and you could do less, you can do less units, you can do more units. It depends on how you want it to look. But I'm going to do the one with the, um, you know, I'm just going to do a sample piece. So you'll have to decide how you want to set up your necklace and if you want to make it like so here we'll do it like this you know we're going to sew them together i'm going to just um and to make a nice let me put down here a circle or you can decide to do i mean i think this would be so much fun to do this sort of y necklace look at all those strings wouldn't that be cool to do kind of like a y necklace so that's up to you i'm going to do the the collar show you the collar so I can show you put the drops on but you know it, it all depends on where you sew it together how it's going to lay on your neck and how it's going to look I mean you could do a million different things like you can do like three units I don't know I was playing I mean you could do anything and make a V out of it really anything all right so I <laughs> get all your units done and then come back and we'll start making the necklace okay, back for just a second because I just want to clarify getting that pearl and the beads you sew through so because I think I might have thrown <laughs> sewn through the wrong bead but I can't really tell so I'm going to use I'm just going to use the back of this unit and just show you know show you with the eightos so let's say I'm exiting I'm exiting you want to make sure you know exactly what side of the uh, bead you're exiting so I'm exiting on this side right here of this bead this side so here let's say you've put your pearl on so you want to do the same thing on that side you want to go through a bead this way okay so I don't know if it's exactly in the middle and then when I go back up the pearl do you see how it wraps around that bead so you want to make sure the top is doing the exact same thing so I'm exiting here, so this is where I went down. I went up through, so you want to make sure you go through this side. So that when you put, you see when you put your pearl on, you're wrapped here and you're wrapped here in this bead. So I'm not sure if, if it was that clear on the, the other um, clip, but I hope this made it a little bit better. So I'm going to hold it to the side. You see how that's connected? Okay. So get that done and we'll continue. Okay, I'm going to start making the curve of the necklace by sewing the units together. So this is what the curve looks like. It is a collar. And what I did to get this is I took a necklace, that I, a collar necklace I had already made, and I put my units on top of it, and it kind of gave me an idea where I should be sewing them together. So I'm going to give you those. I'm going to sew that way, and um, if you want to go with that, you can, or you can take out a necklace you've done in the past and kind of, you know, play with where the placement of the, the, um, the connection is so it fits you perfectly. So I'm exiting an 8 here, and I'm going to do, I'll do with you these three units. Let me pull a bit. So I'm exiting out of this 8 and you're, we're just going to do our little connection unit like we did on the bracelet. So I'm going to pick up two of my two eightos and I'm just gonna go through two on this side and the first one this doesn't really matter where you connect it because it's the next one that's gonna have to have the placement so I'm just gonna sew through you know a couple on this side like that I'm gonna pick up two more eightos let me move this guy out of the way so this is where I am now, and I'm going to sew back through these two. So these two are connecting to here, to these two, back through these two. And then I'm just going to reinforce this by sewing through these two. Thread. There we go. 
these two, and then back down these guys. So I just a little reinforcing coming back down the, the side beads like that. Then I'm going to take my four millimeter uh, pearl um, bicon uh, pearl druck bead. I'm using a druck, and I'm just going to sew through the two opposite from where I'm exiting. So coming out of here, I'm going to sew through the top of the two on the other side. That's going to put it on on the diagonal, and it's going to kind of lock it into place there. See that? And then I'm going to sew back through these two. Okay, so just get to this point and then we'll move on. On the drop, so I'm going to pick up an 11 0. So I'm exiting here, the bottom here where I put that unit on. I'm going to put the drop on, so I'm going to put on this funky bead. I'm going to pick up three 11 0s, going back up like that. I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and I'm going to sew through the other side of those two beads. I was exiting, and there that puts my, my drop on. It's kind of interesting. kind of like it. And then you're just going to sew up through these two. And it's going to kind of sit like that. And then you can just sew this thread in. So you can sew, you can go around again and around the drop. And let's see, can these straighten out a little bit? You can put just, well, I know I actually like that. I think it came out good. <laughs> so you can sew around your unit and tie that thread off. And you have your first drop on and your first two pieces sewn together. But now when we do the next one, we're going to count and put it in the right place so we get that curve. So get this done and come back and we'll continue. Okay, so now we're going to do the counting to connect to the next one. So we start getting a little, you know, a gentle curve. So for my necklace, I I positioned it so I see these two beads here, right? Um, that's part of the connection. I'm going to have a seven bead span after these two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. And then I want to use the two beads after the seven. So here are the two beads I'm going to use. If you're, so my thread was coming, on this unit was coming up this way. If your thread is coming down this way on your unit, you're just going to go two past the seven and connect in the opposite direction. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. My thread happens to be coming out of the top here. I'm going to pick up two of my eight O's. You really can, you can connect anywhere on this unit because we're not going to count until the next unit to get the curve. So two, there, and coming up the other side on this unit through the two, and two there. I've got my little connection on. Now I'm going to reinforce it. So, I'm going to come through these two. So I've just gone around the unit just to tighten it up a bit. So now I want to put my druck bead on. So picking up my druck. Exiting here. I'm just going to sew on the diagonal up through the two, up two on the opposite side like that. It's going to put my truck bead on and I'm just going to work my way around. Like that. So I'm exiting those bottom two and that is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to pick up an 11-0. my funky drop, three 11 O's, kind of skip them, come back through the top of the drop, pick up an 11 O, 
So through the other side of those two. Up a number of beads so that I have my my next drop and my connection done. And see how it's a, it's slightly curving. Um, you if you look at it and you think, well, it's not curving enough. Maybe go through. Maybe have a six bead span in between. Um, if it, but I you know seven seem to work out. But and sometimes you may need seven, and then you might have to pop a six in when you go six bead span when you go around your neck. You know, so if you want it to fit really beautifully, you'll you'll kind of customize it to fit your neck. But just you're going to do this all the way around and um, connect your units together with a seven, six or seven, depending on what fits you best in you know seven bead span, maybe even an eight bead. I'm not sure. You know, you have to play with that. Um, and see how that works for you. But here's the seven. And I did, I connected, let me count them, 14 of them. I think 16 is probably better um, to get your length. Mine was a tiny bit, um, you know, it wasn't tight. It's just very close to my neck. So um, you know, I'm going to play with that a little bit. All right, so get all units connected. And then I'll show you how to do, you know, this part, which is just a, a repeat of, your connections um, because I didn't want to bring them all the way around my neck. It was more comfortable for me to have a little, um, not have these big units all the way up to the end. All right, so get your get your curve done, get all your everything done, and come back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. And how cute is that? I just love these little funky beads here, and like twisty beads. And I just think this is such a cool little um, summer necklace, right? With a white shirt or white tank top, pair of jeans, you're done. Okay, so now we're gonna put this part on. So as I said earlier, I did 17 of my components um, or 14. So uh, you could do 16, um, whatever you need to get around your neck. Um, I'm just going to do these. I have eight here. I'm just going to do this because this is, that's all I have at the moment. So I'm going to, so I'm exiting. I put on my last unit here and I'm going to exit so that I have my span of seven beads here and I'm going to pick up six of my eightos, and I'm just going to add that on, just like we've been doing here. Only we're putting on six because we're not we're not attaching to another unit right now. So like that, and then I'm going to sew around the beads that I just put on. It's kind of just like we've been doing all along. Oops. So now that's on. I'm going to take my four millimeter bead, exiting here. I'm just going to sew, you know, on the diagonal, just like we've been doing up the other, the two beads on the other side. And that's what that looks like. That's what I'm just going to keep on doing. I'm going to pick up six. My eightos, sewing through the other side. Two beads I'm coming out of. I'm going to reinforce that. So I'm coming out of the side beads like that. Do the same thing, picking up a truck, exiting here. I'm just going to do the other side, but I'm coming from the bottom up. Pop that into place. You can actually go around and reinforce again, you know, around these if you want, but I don't know how necessary that is. But I'm going to do the same thing again. Pick up six and, you know, do that exact same thing until that part fits around my neck and I'm ready for my clasp. So get both sides done and then come on back and we'll put the clasp on. We'll have like a really cute little necklace. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, she's done. So let's put a clasp on. So here, I'm just going to, here's my end. Exiting the two end beads. Here's my clasp. I'm just going to pick up, actually, I'm just going to go right through the ring. Let's see, is this how I did that? I think so. Pick up two beads and then I'm going to go through 
the other ring on my class, and then I'm going to go back through these two. Let's see how that goes. Well, that went on well. You can put a little bead in here if you want, I guess. I'm just going to go back through the ring, through the two beads and the other ring. And notice my rings are facing this way, you know, so I can get my thread through that way. The hole is sideways instead of facing up. Where you see the um, ring here is facing up, but the actual one I'm sewing through is facing the other way. If yours isn't, you can always put a little jump ring right there. And you can always add a bead right here. Should we try that? I don't think I did it on the bracelet, but I mean, I don't think, I really don't think it needs it, but I figure, what the heck, we'll give it a shot. And you can decide whether or not you want to add a side bead. That doesn't look awful. So now I'm just going to go back down this guy. Might be a little more secure this way. Through these two, through these two, and so on. Just going to sew down a little bit until my clasp is nice and secure. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side because it's, you know, it's got the same two loops on the, the um, part, this part that goes in the box clasp. So get that done and come back and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back and we're done. And didn't they come out nice? I mean, this one's like maybe a little more dressy. This one's so casual and fun. Here's our bracelet, here's our earrings. Of course, my pearls are different colors in the center because I ran out, but I still think it goes fine. Um, I, I was looking at this too, and I was thinking, gee, what if you just made one long piece and made it into a wrap it around your wrist three times, and you've got a cute little wrap bracelet for the summer. And I really like the way these little bees came, This the um, little squiggly beads came out using them as drops. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make this and post it on Facebook, and I will definitely see you on the next video.